Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. I actually was not intending to do a video today. It's uh, something that kind of happened haphazardly. As I uh, was going to bed last night, I realized that uh, I had reached a thousand subscribers. And I'll tell you that one thing you guys uh, haven't uh, heard me say is uh, you never heard me say like or subscribe on my videos because uh, when I started this channel, I was really just doing it to do some comparative analysis between. Um, the various simulator options that are out there for us and uh, to really help folks kind of pick what's right for them uh, But as I started making those videos and I started seeing the outpouring of support and folks uh, Really enjoying what I was putting out uh, I became a little bit addicted to it I guess you could say and I continue to make videos and I'll tell you that I've really really enjoyed it thoroughly so uh, because of that um, you know, I've made more videos and you guys have really, really, really been supportive of uh, my work. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I give something back to the community as well. So uh, I will be doing a, a subscriber giveaway. And I'll explain to you guys how that works here in just a moment. But I did want to let you guys know that I'm flying from my virtual airline right now. Uh, we're actually uh, approaching uh, KIAH, which is a Houston Intercontinental, or I'm sorry, International. Um, and, uh, it's uh, also known as George Bush and uh, we are just here on approach as you guys can see it's pretty cruddy weather so I'm doing my best to uh, avoid these storm cells here and I have us fall out of the sky so I'm uh, manually managing my heading for right now um, and uh, you guys can see on the right display uh, the weather's pretty nasty um, so I'm just trying to get around the storm cell we're gonna try to kind of creep uh, here into uh, this little corridor here and uh, our go around altitudes 2000 I'm about to set up my uh, radio altimeter here in just a moment we actually scoot us a little bit further to the right go 110 and uh, let's set up our radio altimeter real quick so for the uh, ILS 33 right approach uh, our radio altimeter should be set to uh, 286 so let's set that now on over uh, all right. and we're going to uh, 286 all right very good and uh, check altitude target Two thousand, good. All right, so we're just going to make our way through this little corridor. We're going to then try to swing us here into this little corridor as well, and we'll turn around and we'll catch the localizer. Um, so uh, that is the game plan. Now we're here at ten thousand, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on our uh, runway turnoffs. I'm going to go ahead and put our strobes on as well. Our anti collisions already on. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my on logo lights now. Since the weather's pretty bad, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put us on continuous right now, even though we're a little bit a ways away from approach. And uh, make sure everybody's all nice and buckled in. And then our landing altitude's good. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what the giveaway is, and uh, we'll come back when we're a little bit closer to approach. All right, so first of all, just so you guys know, we'll be giving away three pieces of software and also two pieces of hardware today. Um, probably worth a total of around $1,000 or so. First of all, um, we'll start out with a uh, giveaway for a real air Duke Turbine V2. Um, and, uh, you know, those of you guys who have seen me fly, you know this is an absolute joy to fly, and I think that whoever gets will be very, very lucky. So uh, a real air Duke Turbine V2 will be our first giveaway. Next up, uh, any Orbix uh, airport of your choice. This can be um, any of their regional airports or any other airport regions. Uh, it's your choice. And in terms of hardware, We'll be giving away, first of all, a, a very powerful graphics card, a, a NVIDIA GeForce a GTX 680. It's a 4 gigabyte model with a water block pre-installed, and you can get an aftermarket one if you'd like. Also, a SciTech X52 joystick. This is really the advanced joystick that started it all, and uh, it's still tried and true to this day, and is a great versatile simming solution. And last but not least, uh, one of the white unicorns, the original box FSX Deluxe Edition, selling for a ton of money on eBay right now, and the full set can also be yours. So that's the giveaway. Um, to to 
uh, get in on the giveaway, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is just leave a comment below and let me know which of those five things you would like, and I'll be randomly selecting the winner. So once again, thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel and continuing to uh, be with me, and uh, look forward to uh, announcing the winners in my next video. So uh, let's go ahead and get back in the cockpit. All right, well, uh, here we are flying through these uh, storm cells right now. Um, as you can see, uh, there's some in front of us, but it doesn't hold a whole lot of precipitation, a whole lot of danger. So uh, we're just kind of slowly descending and uh, making our way on through. Then when we get here and when we get around this last little cell, we're going to try to shoot the approach. It's definitely going to be a little bit dangerous because, as you guys can see, there's actually a cell that sits uh, just left of the... Uh, Approach. So we got to be really, really careful about wind shear. Because of that, um, we're going to be setting our approach speed uh, a little bit faster. So at 147 knots with flaps 30, um, just to uh, make sure we have a little bit of momentum. Um, should it be that uh, we get hit with some wind shear, we can uh, relatively easily um, uh, try to power through it. Um, well, easy I guess as uh, can be to deal with wind shear it's actually really difficult so uh, let's just make sure our uh, um, radios are all set up correctly so we're uh, 329 329 on the course then 111.9 uh, and 111.9 very good and uh, you guys can see that lightning is really really starting to kick in here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn us uh, to uh, 065 or 060 Traffic. Traffic. the heading and uh, we'll bring us in a little bit further 050 just try to kind of help us sneak in there I don't uh, go to the first officer seat Let's see if I can see that traffic Anyways, alright, and then uh, well, let's bring us in a little bit further now. I'm gonna set this left display, or the right display, the first officer's display to uh, approach. Continue to swing us in here. We're just gonna catch the edge of this cell. right below the glide slope so we're going to give us our first not or we'll go to flaps five right now actually just to help us kind of manage speed uh, without need of uh, spoilers and we'll set our auto brakes to uh, two yeah we actually ended up getting into a small cell here we'll just uh, try to kind of power through it slow our rate of descent so we can bleed off some speed especially through this little cell uh, we want to try to make it as easy as possible on us alright I'm going to bring us down to uh, 180 knots and uh goes the localizer so we'll turn on the localizer now and uh, we'll go ahead and set us down to uh, 170 knots and I'm um, actually going to just a little bit of spoiler here so slow us down a little bit more and then we're gonna even out our rate of descent to uh, 500 to help us bleed the speed. And I'm actually going to bring us back up to 180 just so we can try to get past the storm cell as quickly as possible. Because I really don't want to get hit by wind shear uh, on final. Alright, so our reference speed is uh, 147. That means we're going to be taking a uh, VRF, uh, we'll take plus five, so we'll do uh, 152, which 
which means we'll only have to bleed off around 28 uh, knots or so speed, which is not bad. It's definitely doable. Um, so, uh, all right, looking good. So, uh, 10 miles out, I'm going to go ahead and throw on our landing lights. Notify the cabin as if they weren't already buckled in. Good to me. I'll throw on our wipers as well. Right. Everything looks good. So just about to catch uh, the localizer here. And uh, I'm sorry, the glide slope. So we'll go ahead and put approach mode on now. And then uh, I'll bring us down to. Uh, 52. We'll give ourselves another notch of flaps. Alright, so we are on the glide slope now. Let's uh, take a quick look outside. But yeah, it's foggy as all heck. See the plane. Let's see if uh, the wing fade effect is kicking in. Yeah, it is a little bit. Well, let's continue to bleed the speed off. We did say that uh, going for 25. All right, landing gear and end up back up. The heck. down to 30. Alright, well, let's arm our uh, speed brake here. And, uh, we have no visual contact with the runway at all. It's down to 147. Actually, we're going to manually take over uh, auto throttle here. We're coming a little bit hotter than we should be. We cannot see a damn thing. Oh, there we go. Starting to see something out here. And uh, I think I have visual now it looks like so uh let's see we're flaps 30 auto brakes gears down spoilers are engaged lights are on and uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh manually take us over here And uh, landing. We're stable, we look good. It's definitely not ideal conditions, but uh, it's definitely landable. Off these uh, wipers now. center line we got pushed off just a little bit but uh, ended up correcting uh, pretty doggone well so all right there's 60 knots let's go ahead and uh, take off uh, these auto brakes and uh, we'll take this next turn off here so anyways guys you know thank you so much you know it's only been about uh, month and a half two months or so and uh you know a thousand of you guys have decided to join me here in the sky so i really appreciate it and uh, look forward to uh spending some more time with you guys here in the future so 
everybody take care of safe flying uh, and i'll be doing another video this weekend without a doubt um and uh look forward to being with you all here very soon so everybody take care and uh see you guys around